All right, guys, I'm back at it again with another Logic Pro tutorial. And the first time I did one of these was about roughly two years ago, and I did it using the fabulous Wave plugins. Now, a lot of people got mad at me because they was like, how can you teach us how to mix if you're using, let's say, $40,000 plugins or free plugins, you know, whatever you guys want to say. But... I'm trying to show you guys how to get good sounding vocals using the default plugins that come standard with Logic Pro X. Okay? So there will be no more crying or complaining saying I'm a cheater. How to do this. No, 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 no. This is how you do it with regular plugins. Now, before I first start off, I recorded this song literally in five minutes. I do not take this song serious so before anyone say nice video but the song sucks the song sucks I know the song sucks it's not a real song because I'm not gonna use these crappy plugins on my song I'm gonna use the good plugins but I'm gonna show you how to use crappy plugins and make a song sound good so the first thing we want to do is we wanna let's just you know let's just say start with the main vocal so let's, I mean that's the hook okay now before we continue, I do not condone harming animals or any mean like that, but it's a hook, hip hop hook or whatever. All right, so let's start off with the hook. All right, let's take everything off. Go oh, wrong channel. Let's take everything off. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so let's play it just dry. I am using a blue snowball mic that. I have got from Best Buy for about 50 bucks and I'm using a Mac laptop and I'm recording in the kitchen of my best friend's house. So there's no excuse no more, okay? So for $50 plus the cost of a Mac, you can sound like this, okay? Yeah, no. let's get it. Pull up on the light like this. Pull up on your black like this. Running 50 shots like this. All right. Alright, so that's that's how it sounds, you know what I'm saying? With nothing on it. Alright. So the first thing I always do is um channel EQ. Alright. Where do you get that from? EQ. Channel EQ. Mono. Bam. Turn that on. Now, I cut all the lows out because you don't need them. You you don't need them. Try to people saying, oh, well, what's up? No, nigga, you, you don't need them. All right, then I leave this about flat. Then I raise the highs so you get a crispy sound. So now when you play it, it sounds like this. Yeah, no, let's get it. Pull up on the light like this. Pull up on your black like this. All right, already acceptable. Then go to compressor. And uh, this takes a while. I don't expect you to be able to just do this in a second. Pull up on the light like this. Pull up on your black like this. So, because we're doing hip hop and you're not finna sing, if you're not singing, stay away from everything on this right half. Stay away from classic, vintage, vintage, vintage. You don't wanna sound vintage if you're rapping. You wanna sound studio. You wanna sound that crispiness. Alright? So, where did I get that from? You go, wait. You go, bam, dynamics, compressor, mono, bam. Alright? Now you press play. Yeah, no, let's get it. Pull up on the light like this. Pull up on your black like this. Running 50 shots like this. About to kill it, dog, Mike Vick. Pull up on the light like this. Pull up on your black like this. And I didn't even touch it. I just let it do the work. You know it's compressing when you see this this uh, gain reduction meter going back. 150 shots like this, about to get a dog, Mike Vick. Pull up to the block like. Now look, everybody gonna be like, oh my god, he's clipping, he's clipping, he's clipping. I don't care if I'm clipping, the song sounds fucking good. Jump off, alright? So now you fucking go to the fucking the reverb, you know what I'm saying? So you open up your vocals and it sounds like some real, like, I don't know, sounds, it just sounds better. Just throw the shit on there, look. Yeah, no, let's get it. Pull up on the light like this. Pull up on your black like this. Running 50 shots like this.
like this, ride your killer dog, Mike Vick. Pull up on the light like this, pull up on your block like this. All right, you hear that sound? Nice, right? So now the final step in your mix should be some tape delay. Alright? 150 shots like this. About to get it dog like this. Pull up to the block like this. With a little thick dot like this. She a hoe, she gon' take all day. Yo, we have a friendly fuck like this. Uh, about to kill it dog, Mike Vick. About to kill it dog. Alright, so that's that. Now you're gonna need some, uh, some ad libs. You know what I'm saying? To, to finish it off. So what you do is you, you click you click this one, you click the doubler, it's gonna be like new track with duplicate settings. It's gonna pop up underneath. Alright? So what you do is the only thing you change in on here is you go to your EQ and you give it that bell shape so that way you get this sort of sound. Let's get it man. I mean I thought Bell is like Mike Vick when he played for Atlanta man. Alright. So that give you that radio walkie talkie effect, okay? Now, for your for your second set of ad libs, what I do is I create I had these on, same thing, everything's still the same. But I had auto filter first. Auto filter is found. Bam. Filter. Auto filter. Holy shit. Plugins exist. Just gotta look for them. Damn. Alright, so first, throw that shit on there, then you get to go left, right, left, right, go to crunch modulator, because it makes everything fucking crunchy, you know what I'm saying? Then you go to your EQ, and you give it that swoop shape, just like that, and then, depending on how it sounds, you might want to turn it down, like me. I turned it down 3.6, and when I turned it down, it gave it this sound, that more out of space fucking astronaut. Like this, like this, Mike Vick, like this. It gave it that astronaut sound, man. That's what you want, man. You want to sound, you want to sound different. Now, as far as the beat, a lot of people want that Migo sound, which is very important. That filter drop. What you do is you take this one, you duplicate the track, you take a piece of the beat. A piece, okay? A piece of the beat, All right? What you do is, on the beat that you want to, like, add emphasis to your song, you take a piece of the beat, and you you cut out all the highs. So you put this one on, you click it, see? Click it, and then you drag it all the way over. See, it was right here. So I dragged it all the way over, and then I raised the bass. So that way it got more bass. So that way, when I play it, it sounds like it goes from this to this, watch. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Alright, so that's how you do it. So now, when I bring all these little elements together, you know what I'm saying, in a functional harmony, you know what I'm saying, we get some we get a mix that's acceptable you have to put a lot more time into this mix because this is just a rough mix but this is how you get good vocals so the only thing i would spend a lot of time doing more of this song is i would do a lot more chops more stutters i would do a lot more drops like i have here in this lower section i would do uh, i would really take more time compressing this song so it sounds level because i barely spend any time compressing but uh, spend time compressing, so that way you get a song that sounds like this, you know. With a little thick dot like this, she a hoe, she gon' take all day. She a real friendly fuck like this, like about to kill a dog, Mike Vick. 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 I be getting money trying to get to the paper Shots from the Glock make you flip like a razor Shocking on the block when I move that work I swear to God it's like a packet of the taser Look, I be laying low like a fader Look, I be moving with a navigator Yo, I be snapping like an alligator And these all out of hate stick bitch from Jamaica Let's get it. I be on the block too shay About to move a pound that way If you really need it, got weight. Yeah,
Now look, I recorded this off a fifty dollar mic. My other tutorial was done with almost a fifteen thousand dollar studio, and they sound very fucking similar. So if you have any questions, please email me. Leave a comment in the description. And congratulations, you have a new how to mix with Logic using default plugins tutorial. Brought to you by who? Brought to you by me, the one and only Blake Beast. So please subscribe to my fucking channel. Thank you.